In this first ride of the game-changing Engui M20, we'll discuss the true top speed of the bike, see how it all went together including a weird little issue, see how it does getting around tight little gates, and generally finding out how awesome Engui's first cafe racer moped style e-bike really is. This came today from Engui, and inside this box could be the most important e-bike they have ever made. This is their first bike that is not either a normal standard bike looking bike or folding fat tire e-bike. This bike is their version of the Super 70 Freestyle bike, that cafe racer style. And so far those kind of bikes have been really expensive. This is about to shake up the cafe racer e-bike world, trust me. So let's get it open. Da -da -da. We've got still crappy charge adapters, toolkit, two amp charger, Welgo, pedals, metal, instruction manual, oh there's stickers, this bike comes with stickers, looks like he's got two lights, maximum load 120 kilograms, vehicle weight 34 kilograms, maximum speed 28 miles per hour, maximum range 28 miles, it's 48 volts, 13 amp hour, 750 watt motor, 55 newton meters of torque, box case storage okay we'll see how that goes on there later single saddle though it would have been nice to have uh, like a double saddle <laughs> oh <dear. sighs> ah. right the fun bit getting all the crap off okay so all that foam is now off and now let's start putting it all together <laughs> In second thoughts, people, it'd be easier to install these arms first. The short spacer goes on the brake disc side. Put that into there. Screw that back on. All right, that's it. I love those hooks. They should always have that. No, wrong side. Get there eventually, this one. What? That one fits. That one doesn't. Okay, okay, I'll take it back. I'll take it all back. That one's a smaller one. No, it's not. That one's a smaller one. Okay, <laughs> none of them fit that. Okay, must be this one over here. Gotta be this one over here then. Too small, too small. Oh, watch out when you take this off. The back wheel because the little cap comes with it so pull that out and put it back on and there it is fully assembled the Engway M20 Engway's answer to the Super 73 as always the first thing I'm doing is going up this hill I'm going 13 miles per hour 14 miles per hour and I'm only in speed setting one let's just just quickly bump it up to 5, 15, 16, 17 is going well. Obviously 750 watts, you'd expect it to. That is very impressive. Possibly the most impressive bike I've had on this hill. Got to about 22 there. Now, first thing I'm noticing is it is odd sitting on a seat like this for me because obviously you can't hire it, you can't lower it. So it is just as it is. And it's nice and comfortable to be cruising on, but it's not the best for pedaling these kind of bikes are really <laughs> designed to be throttle which is funny because obviously you can get you can get super 73 bikes um, and in the UK throttles aren't allowed so they're not they're not ideal really to have that um, I think you can get throttles for them I'll never know because they're so expensive uh, but it is nice to have this full grip throttle I'm finding it's it's a lot easier to use than the uh, the half grip throttle however it is a lot easier to accidentally hit the throttle as well with it all right i'm gonna go up it's really cold now now one of the reasons i'm wearing this helmet is it because something my dad pointed out actually is that because it is a bit more motorbikey you're more likely you're more likely to get pulled over i think well he thinks and i i agree um if you're on an e-bike, you'll generally look like you're on a bike. 
but these type of bikes kind of look a bit like at first glance whoops let's go down the curb at first glance look like a little motorbike and if, if a police person sees a little motorbike and thinks oh there's a motorbike hang on where is their where's their number plate then they might pull you over and then obviously you can then say oh it's okay i'm on a bike but then they say oh okay let's have a look and then i might find out it's a bit too powerful for the area you're meant to be whoa my face is cold here we are though in uh, setting three and it's giving us 20 miles per hour which is a decent speed some of my recent e-bikes generally that's how fast they go now let's go let's go right let's go along the canals as usual let's take it down our usual path let's put it up into setting four now well, i'm gonna get past these people and i'm gonna get into setting five and see how fast we can get up to he reckons it's got a top speed of 24.5 miles per hour about 25 miles an hour ish but we'll see it feels fast it pulls really well oh man it feels really good loads of glass please don't give me a puncher all right let's go past people on the grass let's go on the grass There's lots of people here camera's failing already all right well it goes well on the grass there thank you now, i feel like i've got to say don't worry i'm not on a motorbike let's go over these bumps i'm gonna lose the camera now Ooh. Oh. <laughs> right let's bring you up again oh that's annoying yeah i really don't like pedaling on this all right well i'm going 22 23 24. <laughs> that camera's just going down and down 25. okay it feels a lot faster than 25. why does it feel so fast yeah i've got to say it's a funny thing this isn't it because it looks like you're on a motorbike you pull up next to a person on your bike and you're like oh look at me my bike's a bit like a motorbike and they're thinking idiot right i need to do something about this I don't know, I'm only going 23, but it feels a lot faster. Something I got, when I um, first unpacked the bike, the wheels were set to tw uh, 23 inches. So then when you do the throttle, it went up to 28 in speed. But obviously these are 20 inch wheels and then when you put it into 20 inches which it should be it goes 24.8 except it defaults when you reset everything to 23 so don't know what's going on there let's see how it does at this indeed i did measure the wheels and i found out that the diameter of these 20 inch wheels including tires is actually 23 inches Oh, it just feels great. So the default of 23 is true, and when it defaults to 23, the speed does hit 28. Wow. Hmm. Okay, well, totally lost the camera now. Oh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get through these. Hmm. Okay. Actually, I think I can. Okay, that one's alright. I swear, when you're on a bike like this, going this fast here in America, I feel like a proper hooligan. 
Like I should be getting told off by someone. Right, this is going to be interesting. Right, I'm going to have to get off to do this. It's good that you can just get off. Right, let's get through here. What's the camera? Swing around. There we go. It wasn't too bad, was it? And again, that twist throttle easily, easily, accidentally activated. Blooming heck. This is so cool. Do you know what we need to do? We need to take this back, get straight to Sandy Lane. Ah, feels good. Sorry, but no, my other bikes don't feel this fast. I need to get GPS out or something. I'm sorry, but it's not just going 24. This is immense. Oop. Go left. Good job, Drake. Brakes are good. Lost a bar of battery. Done about three miles. <laughs> if you've got to go somewhere, if you're travelling isn't really that far, I, you know, within 10, 15 miles, I could easily see myself wanting to use this. This is, this is great. Ah. Hello. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's just a bike. <laughs> Hello. Hello, yeah, yeah. I don't want people to think I'm on a motorbike. I'm somewhere in my little one. <laughs> yeah. You right? Bye. Bye. <laughs> nice little hill that 30 miles an hour that feels good I had the brake I'm going down there as well the thing is when you go onto the uh, the website of that other bike company and you see um, because they're meant to be UK legal bikes but they'll say unrestricted power and You've got to pay quite a lot to get the same power as this. As I ride this though, this bike hasn't been released yet. When I release this video, as you see this, it will have been released. It will be available now. And uh, if you do use the affiliate link down below, it will not cost you any more, but it will help this channel. So if you have appreciated this review and first ride, then feel free to use that link. I would be very grateful and feel free and, and do let us know in the comments if you do as well so I can uh, thank you so I would like to thank you but I'm so impressed there's no creaks nothing rattles I like the fact that you can lock out that suspension oh god that that feels good bouncing up and down like that that is amazing that's really comfortable and the great thing is about Engway, I like the fact they, they don't try to hide, you know, I have not been glowing like completely on a lot of videos. There's been, there's been a few issues I've had with few, some of their bikes and I've said it and they haven't tried to hide it, they haven't told me not to say that. They've just tried to improve and uh, they've still let me test their bikes. Quite often the brand will be like, well, we're not going to give it to them. They're going to tell the truth. Fancy that. The truth. It's definitely a departure for the company. And I think it's a very good one. Because a lot of people want a bike like this. And just can't afford one because that other brand is ridiculously expensive. And some of the copies just aren't very good. 
I am happy to say that this is a cafe racer style e-bike that is really bloody good. Well done Engwe, very impressed. This is just the first ride of this fantastic bike from Engwe. I later did a hill climb test and it did really well. I had a little play with the adjustable front suspension and that was really nice too. As I edit this video together, the only trace of this bike on the internet is a pre-sale being run by Engwe USA. The bike will be available in three colours, the black one I have, as well as a racing green and a white one that look very smart. It will also come in two battery configurations. Where I have a little bag, you can actually fit a second battery, bringing the total capacity to 26 amp hours. The two battery version is currently $1,599 and the single battery version is $1,299. Right now there's also a $150 early bird discount. I don't know how much these prices will change but I will update you in the future. If you're thinking of buying the bike consider using my affiliate links please in the description below as it doesn't cost you anything extra and it helps out the channel a lot. Let us know in the comments if you do use them so I can tell you how awesome you are. As I said, this is just a first ride though. First impressions are that I absolutely love the bike and I haven't found anything about it that I don't really like yet. And if you've seen my other Angwe reviews, you'll know that I'm always honest when I find something bad. I'll be releasing a full review of this bike very soon. It may already be on there, so keep an eye out for that. We'll get to the bottom of the speed conundrum, find out how fast it went up Sandy Lane, if it made it, and we'll take a closer look at everything to do with this magnificent e-bike. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it and other fun e-bike content as well as other electric vehicles. Thank you so much for watching my video. You make this all worthwhile. Until next time, ride safe.